I'm Lisa with Teacher Creative Materials, and I am excited to read to you today. The title of my book is called We the People, Civic Values in America, written by Kelly Rogers. American Values. Being an American is not about your skin color, the clothes you wear, or how you look. So what does it mean to be an American? America's past can help us find the answer. Early American leaders built our country on certain values. They wrote about these important values in the US Constitution. Our early leaders wrote that America, that Americans should be free. They thought that Americans should believe what they want to believe and say what they wanna say. Americans should feel safe and be happy. The leaders said that Americans should be treated fairly. They stated that people should not be allowed to hurt one another they also thought that they should be able to choose their leaders. These are rights that all Americans have. These ideas and rights are still important to Americans. We call them our civic values. And as you can see, a few of our early American leaders that helped make America what it is today. We've got Patrick Henry, George Washington, Martha Washington, Alexander Hamilton, Dolly Madison, James Madison, John Adams, Abigail Adams, Samuel Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and Mercy Otis Warren. We get to enjoy many rights in America, but being an American is not just about the rights we have. It is also about being a good citizen. Good citizens have responsibilities. These are duties that we should do. You have duties in your home. It may be your duty to clean the dishes or to keep your room clean. You also have duties in school. It is your duty to learn and to be nice to others. And here you can see some students that are helping clean up their community. And another gentleman that's doing chores at home. We all have responsibilities to our country too. It is our duty to follow the rules and laws. It is our duty to treat others fairly. The US Constitution lists these rights and responsibilities. It talks about America's values. The US Constitution is proof that our country is built on those values. America's early leaders set an example for us. They worked hard and they relied on themselves. They helped make America what it is today. It is up to us to follow their example. And as you can see, it asks, how many do you, do you know how many American leaders signed the U.S. Constitution? That's right, there were 39 leaders who signed the document. A new nation. In the 1600s, people left Great Britain to live in America. They came for many reasons. Some wanted freedom to practice their religion. They were called Puritans. By 1776, many more people from Europe were living in America. They were living in the 13 colonies. Great Britain and its king controlled these colonies. The colonists felt that the king was not treating them fairly. They wanted to be free from his rule. They wanted their own country. The leaders in the colonies got together and wrote the Declaration of Independence. It was a letter to the king. It said that the colonies were now free from British rule and they would start a new country but the king wanted to keep the colonies. This started a war. In 1783, the colonists won the war and a new nation was born. It was called the United States of America. And here on the page, you can see where George Washington leads his armies. And on the other side, you see Puritans land in Plymouth, Massachusetts in 1620, an American Indian family in 1899, American Indian values. American Indians were living in America long before the Puritans. They had important values too. Family was very important to early American Indians. They also had great respect for the land. All are created equal. The Declaration of Independence did more than say that the colonies were free. It said what kind of nation America would be. It said that the people would be in charge of the country. It said that the people had certain rights. Thomas Jefferson was one of the early leaders in America. He helped write the declaration. His words explained the beliefs of the new nation. Jefferson wrote, all men are created equal. Our values are based on this idea. 
And here you can see four men that helped Jefferson write the Declaration of Independence. It includes John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Robert Livingston, and Roger Sherman. But Americans did not treat all people the same. In Jefferson's time, many people were slaves. Slaves had no freedom. Other people owned them. Women did not have the same rights as white men either. Jefferson's promise of equality was a good idea, but future Americans would have to work hard to make this promise come true. Today, we continue to work toward equality for all people. In this picture, you see slaves that are forced to harvest sugarcane long ago. Jefferson had more to say about American rights. He said that all people are born with certain rights that no one can take away. Jefferson said that some of these are the right to live, to be free, and to pursue happiness. He said that Americans would start a new government to protect these rights. Protecting these rights became an important American value. Jefferson also said that the people should choose their leaders. One person should not have all the power. He did not want another king to rule America. Jefferson said that if the people did not get to choose their leaders, the government would not be fair. This idea is known as the consent of the governed. This means that people should agree on who their leaders are. It became another civic value. This is why we vote for or choose our leaders. The law of the land. In 1777, American leaders wrote a constitution. It said how the government should work. It stated the rules and laws of the nation. Many Americans did not want a strong government. This reminded them of the British king. They wanted the people to have the power. The first constitution was called the Articles of Confederation, but there were problems with the articles. The government was not strong enough to keep the new nation safe. The leaders met to write a new constitution. It was a hard job. No other country had tried to form the kind of government that America wanted. Some people thought it would not work. They said it was dangerous to give the people so much power. In 1789, the US Constitution was ready. It said how we would choose our leaders. It listed our rights and duties. It was based on the values of the people. The new government was created to protect the rights of the people. The U.S. Constitution said that one person would not have all the power. The power would be shared. The states would be in charge of themselves, but there would also be a central government. It would be in charge of the whole country. The U.S. Constitution has three parts. The preamble is the introduction. It states why the U.S. Constitution was written. It says what we, the people, believe. It says that we value justice or fairness and peace. It also says that we value freedom. The art articles are the body of the US Constitution. They explain how our government works. Three branches or parts share the power. The branches are like legs on a stool. They are separate, but they all work together to make the stool stand. The amendments are the third part. They are changes. They allow the US Constitution to grow and change with our nation. And here you see a beautiful picture of one branch of government um, that meets in the US Capitol building. The Bill of Rights. The US Constitution was written to protect our rights, but some people thought that more rights were needed. They wanted all of these rights to be added to the US Constitution. They asked for a Bill of Rights. These became the first 10 amendments to the US Constitution. The First Amendment protects basic freedoms. It includes freedom of religion. This means that the government cannot make you practice a certain religion. You can believe what you want to believe. It also includes freedom of speech and freedom of the press. This means that you can say what you want to say. You can even speak out against the government. The Second Amendment protects our right to defend ourselves. Other amendments explain the rights of fair punishment. Many people think that the Bill of Rights is the best statement of our values. It explains what it means to be an American. And here you can see people marching for their freedom and rights in 1963. More amendments. Today, we have many of the same values that our early leaders had. 
We still think that people should be free and we still think that all people should be treated fairly. But our ideas about how to live out these values have changed over time. New amendments have been added to solve new problems. These amendments show how America has changed. In 1865, the 13th Amendment ended slavery. The 14th Amendment says that anyone born in America is a citizen. The 15th Amendment gave all men the right to vote. In 1920, the 19th Amendment gave women the right to vote. The U.S. Constitution tells us what Americans value. It explains how our government works. Our early leaders worked hard to make a fair government. They want a country that would protect its people. They also wanted a country that would grow and change with its people. The amendments are proof of this idea. Responsible citizens. With rights come responsibilities. Responsible citizens are good citizens. They work hard to make their country a better place. They follow the rules and laws. They try to do what is best for everyone. They treat others fairly and they help people in need. There are other ways to be a good citizen. People can give their time, money, or items to help others. Some people give these things to charities. These are groups that help people in need. Good citizens can also volunteer. This means that they do work that helps others for free. Democracy is about the people. For it to work, the people must be involved. There are many ways for adults to take part in a democracy. They can vote for leaders and laws. They can serve on a jury. This means they help decide if a person broke a law. They can even join the government and become leaders. Here you can see examples of charities with people working and donating their time, along with a jury that is sworn in before a trial begins. You can be a responsible citizen too. Follow the rules at home and at school. Do not break our country's laws. Get involved in your community and government. You can learn about your local leaders. You can learn about our country's leaders. You can help keep your community clean and safe. If you see someone being treated unfairly, speak up. You can donate items to a food bank. You can volunteer at an animal shelter. You can pick up trash at a local park. You can be honest and fair. You can be a leader at school and in your home. And you can always work your hardest and do your best. It is never too early to learn how to be a good citizen. Learning to be a responsible citizen is an important American value. We the people. American values come from our past and our present. America's early leaders worked hard to create a country that would support these values. Their ideas are found in the Declaration of Independence. They're also found in the US Constitution. These values tell us what it means to be an American. We are st still learning how to live by these values. As our country changes over time, we will face new problems. So we must find new ways to solve these problems. It is important we make sure that all people still have liberty and justice. As Americans, we are in charge of our government. We get to choose our own leaders. We also get to vote on our laws. We believe in equality. We think that all people should be treated fairly. The U.S. Constitution protects our rights. To keep these rights, we have responsibilities. We need to be good citizens in order to keep America strong. So that is the end of our book, We the People. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will continue reading and love it as much as I do.